Hello channel and uh, welcome back to another NGX flight. We are um, at Oslo Garden 1, like on November Golf Mike. Um, we're in prepared version 4. It's quite a beautiful morning around us. A little hazy, but um, not that many clouds. We are heading up from, uh, from this place. I forgot to disable the static aircraft, so you have to excuse the graphical errors. But, um... We are flying up for Garden Moon to, uh... Varnes, Trondheim, which is in the middle of Norway. You know what I'm gonna do, just real quick here? I'm gonna turn on four times SSAA, because I think there's a lot of shimmering that would be nice to be get rid of. And we can do it. Um... Whoa, there's a lot of landing lights all of a sudden, or something. Yeah, anyways. It's gonna be a great flight. Um, so I've just been flying this today. Um, and it's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome to fly the NGX again. Anyways, we um, I've loaded the entered in the the weights and uh, the fuel and weights, and we are ready to start boarding. One of the things that's kind of funny about this airport that, or it's kind of funny that's really great actually, is the Saudi animation of the jetways. However, since I I had actually started up on this jet that way over here and then I moved, slewed myself over I lined myself with the runway or with the thing but it was misaligned and so things didn't work so it works really well but it didn't because I tried to get around some limitations so that was a bit of um, a mistake but whatever it's it's still pretty sweet the whole, uh, the whole thing works pretty well um yeah let's get going We only have 70 passengers today, which is not that many, but it is some. Uh, we are... Let's see. Let's figure out some more of the stuff that we're doing. Flying flight level 330. 33,000 feet. And we are landing at... It's not a lot of feet. It's not 700. 50, if anything. That's pretty much the sea level. Yeah, the emergency lights are armed. Okay, I think we're good to start uh, programming. Return menu. FMC. Wasn't it? Echo November. Go to the next page, get the GPS, copy it into Scratchpad, paste it into here. Root. Echo November, Victor Alpha. Company root. Flight number D Y four four. And we are taking off of runway zero one right. Activate execute. Departure arrival. Our departure from Garden One will be zero one right and we're taking the news nine B departure. Then for our arrival into Varnas, we are. Let's do the ILS uh, 27. 
it's an LC or no Vivo one M. And the transition is Zilda. Execute. That was pretty that was pretty easy. <laughs> and Serial eight. Type in our fuel pan call for six point three. Our serve is one point zero. I think technically you should have more than that. And find our region. Uh, let's do a cost index of forty. And then the flight level we said was 330. And one limit will do a D rated takeoff and uh, D rated climb. You can do flaps 5. And that's it. We're good and programmed. Um, set the MCP then. Set that to V2 speed, which is 143. Set the altitude. So set it straight for 330 because that is what we're going to get from this one. And heading of 010, roughly. November Gulf Lake Airport Information November 2220 two, Zulu Weather Wind 3 5 6 at 4 Visibility 10 Sky Clear Temperature 13 2.8 QNH 1011 Advise on initial contact you have information November Echo November Gulf Lake Airport Information Pretty pretty great pretty easy uh, let's go over and let's go put in a flight plan Okay. Some broken clouds at Trondheim. Um, winds of 15 knot winds. And 11 degrees. A bit colder in here, huh? And. Okay. Anyways. Arm the auto throttle. I just realized that I think it's it has disconnected my um, autopilot disengage but instead of sort of trying to look at what it is I'm just pressing the button on the joystick so I'm reassigning it in here that's kind of smart actually uh, so autopilot disengage switch shift control Z pretty cool So 
so yeah now my trigger my joystick is actually disengaging the power again <coughs> hold on I need to get it to position <coughs> yeah yeah so I'm really curious to hear what you guys think about um, prepared version 4 I heard some of you um, like that a lot of you seem to have better experience with it than I have even though I'm pretty happy um, but it does it does make it just make me feel like maybe I should start, look, start looking into getting um, a, uh, a better system. It does seem like uh, sounds by some of you guys like that a better system does really um, work. Like you can get better performance in prepared version 3 than what I am getting currently. Start the debut. Sun is coming up. Unity is coming down on the APU, that means we're getting close. Belts chime and there we're on the buses. At this point, let us disconnect the ground power, disconnect the air conditioning unit, and remove the wheel trucks and we'll ask for pushback. And we will take a nose where we did leaving from. Again we are leaving from zero one right, which is to our left. Oh that's us trying to do that. Okay, we're pushing back, so we'll, we'll go ahead and start the left engine, the right engine, I mean, sorry, fuel pumps are on right now. And the fuel. Hot starts. So 
as we're seeing here. Perfect. If you look at the frame rate and you're like, uh, why is it so low? Like, I mean, this is pretty low because it's it's actually low. But I have I have locked it to 30 with the I'm running a refresh rate of 30 frames per second. I did not see this. They put the interior in. That is very cool. They put the interior in for the new uh, addition to the airport. That I did not see. Very, very cool. That's a cool new uh, addition. That parking brake. Up to second engine. Now the fuel. Riding in Maximanos today, the Norwegian Resistance Hero. Blew up a bunch of uh, German stuff during the war, basically. It's a saboteur. Um, okay. I guess the clear. Is, right, is clear. Both engines started. The GPU can, maybe you can come off. We'll turn on the yacht amper, the electric hydraulic pumps. The Pedo probes, the window heat. Uh, we'll turn the packs to auto. We'll turn off the APU lead. Uh, next thing, we'll turn our taxi lights on. And at that point, we should actually be pretty much good to taxi. Flaps one, flaps two, flaps five. Flaps too, now that we have hydraulics. Ready, we'll turn on our flight directors. We'll enter VNAV and LNAV. Not currently running uh, dynamic lighting, which would probably look great, but um, okay, let's let's try it. Let's try it since we're at it. Uh, lighting and dynamic lighting can come on, and we'll put even the dynamic reflections to low. Let's see how that goes. Frame rate wise. It's a stutter city.
Yeah, I can't do that. That was too slow. Turn that back off again. We'll go back up to the 20. So yeah, yeah, see, that's much better. Excellent that they modeled the interior of the terminal. I did not know that he added that. That why was there not made much more fun of that? Uh, fuss about that. That used to be just like one big open tube of uh, nothingness, and now it's actually modeled properly. That's pretty angle, if you ask me. I'm trying out some some more um, more conservative settings. So I'm now running um, maximum level of detail radius, but only medium um, autogen radius. I'm running normal buildings and dense trees, very dense trees and very dense uh, scenery details. Um, but I'm also I turned off road traffic which you know what I've had almost no problem with it but I have to say in very heavy scenery it's making a huge difference like if I'm in Heathrow or you know those are, I've been posting a lot of um, stuff from Heathrow and, and the likes of that recently and I've been having really like almost single digit frames frame rates which is you know obviously not flyable but it turns out like if I turn off the car traffic I am able to get almost 20 frames per second even in those locations so yeah that's why the road traffic is on off Prob probably able to turn it back on here but I haven't done that you hear the dings that you hear that's me downloading um, the ultimate mesh. Violet's well, ultimate mesh. I don't know what I'm expecting. <laughs> um, 70 gigs of mesh, but I do think it will be sharper, sharper edges, and maybe better, better to find in some places. But um, what I've also heard is that it's a lot faster loading, just because it's more better optimized and annotated, and they, it's made in a better way. So I'm just the load times is actually kind of what what really got me there more than more than anything else. It was the load times. It'll be interesting to see if it's um, correct. I quite like the Norwegian air shuttle delivery, actually, it's pretty nice. Popping is so annoying. I really don't know why it happens, but it's very disturbing to look at. It could be that I messed up my shaders, but I don't know. I have a feeling that it's actually something messed up in the code somewhere.
traffic. We'll turn on terrain on this side and we'll turn on weather on this side. passengers and like six tons of fuel aboard they were quite a lot below our uh, max takeoff weight and this is a long runway see here and just wanted to get the trim in it ref and one limit take off trim 5.10 Sometimes I really do not pay give pay enough attention. Five out of ten, perfect. Okay, these guys go to continuous. Which I'm the flight attendants. Let everybody know that we're ready to go. Represent stable. Toga. with the uh, Gardamon, Aerosoft Gardamon. I think it looks stunning. It's a really well working combo. It works well. Flaps are coming up. Gonna break the go to off. And of course got to start the chrono, as always. Amazing. I just absolutely love how this, this sim, like, at its best, this sim looks amazing. This 
is Gromma, Norway is the longest river, I think. And that back there was uh, Miasa, Norway's biggest lake. Tex and Tex and Aska doing its thing with the textures for the clouds in the sky. And then we have Active Sky next. Active Sky 16 version 4 or for current version 4 and it's doing the weather injection. Looks really, really amazing. Really amazing. I actually think these settings are really beautiful. They're, these are great settings. I still have a lot of autogen distance, but um, it's quite smooth, it's, it's not as... Uh, not as... it doesn't draw as far as before, but it still draws pretty damn far. Back the landing lights, so these lights should go off. It's going to come to continuous and we will let the passengers go, I think, because this is not a very long flight. Top of descent is right after top of climb. Thing that's also of course at work here is the PTA shape control by SimTweaks, which is Matt Davis and, uh, and I think uh, Kenosos or whatever a guy has called the original code bit for prepared version 3. Here, so I think we should put our anti-ice on. Yeah, 
what I want to sh look at now is Varnas. And um, we are doing. I forget I forget everything. I am really forgetful. Um the Vivo 1M Arrival. Okay, yeah, we're going to Silda, so basically we're hitting the Vivod. Rodka is uh, 10,000 and above. That's a, that's a setting that we've told it. A DEXA is 7,000 or above at 220. And then at or above 6,000 at Silda at 220. Yeah, so that seems to be put in correctly. And then oh, we get to turn on the approach. We are just doing the ILS 27. I guess we could do the R now 27. Ah, don't know how to do the R now in this one. Um, I really like the approach to runway 27 into Trondheim. Uh, going down this valley, I think it's really, really cool. Um, tick move 4700. And then. We really should be above that Nevos. Yeah, okay, Nevos, we want to be at 4000, and that is typed in with the big letters. So you can tell which ones it calculates and which ones you, ca you tell it to do by looking at these numbers. So it is. So Tikmu 4700 and then I think what we're going to do here is I'm going to try and program in this I'm going to tell it to definitely be at 200 200, 4000 at C, CI27, so a little bit before, before uh, the original calculated. Let's give ourselves a couple of miles extra just to make sure that we don't end up too high.
80 miles away from the airport already. Saying it's pretty, pretty quick. Top of Glam Road here, top of descent right here. Um, for top of descent, we're just gonna type in 4,000, which seems to be the. Yeah, 4,000 is the altitude of. Uh, is the capture altitude for the for the V now. For the approach. Yeah, Eyeless. I'm looking at the wrong thing here. Eyeless. 4,000 Nevels. And uh, we can type that into. Set up the radio so that they will capture properly. Autogen down there, but I don't think that's the case. Um, I'm trying to figure out the sort of so-called bug that there's apparently is in prepared where if you go too high and you cruise for a little bit, it will stop loading Autogen, and you can definitely see it's not loading Autogen right now. The question is when will it start loading? So it's coming up on our top. November, Victor, Alpha, Airport Information, Romeo 2250, Zulu, Weather, Wind 256, at 17, Visibility 10, Sky Condition, Few Clouds at 1800, Ceiling 2800, Broken, Light Rain, Temperature 112.7, QNH 1013, Advise on Initial Contact, you have information, Romeo. Echo, November, Victor, Alpha, Airport Information, Romeo 2250, Zulu, Weather, Wind 256, at 17, Visibility 10, Sky Condition, Few Clouds at 1800, Ceiling 2800, Broken, Light Rain, Temperature 112.7, QNH 1013, Advise on Initial Contact, you have information, Romeo. Pretty low ceiling, so that also this should have a ceiling that should uh, break only after we uh, Capture the mobilizer anyway. 
Also der hat die Tür verpassen. So it's going to be a little uneventful for a few moments. I'm signing off for a few moments, but I'll be back in, uh, in time for our capture here.
Um, we're about to cross our transition altitude. We go back to our um, level line. Beautiful, what a beautiful flight. I'm always so like happy if I, if I fly other places and I come back to Norway and I, I fly around Norway. I'm so happy with how it performs. F Torbex Norway is a good performer. Like if you fly you can fly anything here and it get decent frame rates and good scenery loading and and it looks stunning. So yeah, really really good. I know it's kind of wrong to use the standard for flight rules uh, for uh, or VFR, VFR sort of phraseology when you're using the XDR. I just want to be, I just want to get a slot so that there's some traffic that comes and sort of crashes into me. I mean, I don't always bother, but it is fun when you sort of just slot in between real traffic or regular traffic. Trying to slow down for a DEXA, which uh, a DEXA it needs to be at, uh, at 220 knots. So it realizes that if it wants to be at 220 knots and lose altitude by a DEXA, it needs to slow down. Start slowing down now. Very cool. It's telling me there's some drag required. stutter if you were wondering. It's probably loading the airport or something. Yeah, let's hope so. drag man put on the auto brake before I forget
laps one two. Since we're below two fifty. here and we will tell people to sit down. Well, I'm at 180 right now. It does say 220 here, right? Come around, get Silda, and then take a move and we'll intercept. Laps 40 here.
good news is we're back on track. Okay, we'll do landing lights. Try. Flaps 5 2. Sure, I understand what the throttle is doing here. Oh, yeah, I have one, two, one, six, two. Obviously, the throttle is trying to speed up because I have it set to speed intervene at 167. That is dub. That is dub.
down this valley and see the, the mountains on your side like that. Sim, especially like a small regional airport and especially considering how cheap it is, it's only $18. I think it's magnificent. Lovely surrounding area, fun approach. Really, really great job modeling. Textures, lots of stuff. Yeah, very many of those over landing. One hundred. Really fast. Fifty. Should be fine. Thirty. Twenty. Okay, a bit too much of a flare. a Saudi runway then as you can see it doesn't like yeah I should have known about that I think what will happen now too is, I don't know, maybe if it, I think it might fail once I, the replay ends. It really is a shame about these Saudi runways, I don't know why this is so impossible, but it really is. The 
that's too bad. I think we'll um, just wait for failure. I don't have to wait for the replay to play out. It loads back up. Yeah, so the Sodi stuff doesn't play in replay mode, which is why that looked like that. Too bad. gates is they are so de animated and they do connect to your plane but you have to be very you have to park very well Okay, let's just push this back a little bit and see if I get the parking. 
actually the GSX guy is really in the way. Two meters. Okay, let's hope that goes okay. Let's put on the APU and we will go ahead and turn off the engines. A bit too short. I know. The thing is, I'm not really worried about what JSX thinks, I'm worried about what Sobi thinks. If I can get uh, deporting or not. Okay. There we go, let's set the wheel chocks and the parking brake and let's connect the air conditioning unit and the ground power and let's uh, go to Steve Ordy confirm, we'll confirm the gate So cool, you know, like if you look at it now, the gate is docked. Trucks with it's all it's all one thing. Everything looks in. And we can go ahead and we'll, um, open doors. Front door. And we'll open the cargo doors. And and this is what's so cool about this. Scenery, like the thing that they did first of everything was 3D animated passengers that comes by Sony. The only problem is they only come, they don't leave. So at this point, this passenger should be leaving the plane, not coming into it, but that is so cool, isn't it? And that's so cool. Anyways, um, that's it, guys. I um, want to thank you all for uh, for watching again. It's uh, it's pretty cool. If you like what you see, you can leave a like and uh, or a comment, or you can subscribe. And, you know, I'll probably respond or 
respond in a later video or something like that and um, yeah it's pretty cool and uh, happy flying guys and I'll see you the next time